All right, guys, welcome to Canada. Um, I'm in Nova Scotia right now. Just look at this view. See all that? See all that right there? That is ocean. <laughs> Speaking of ocean, I have a cre cre creature that comes from the sea. It's a Category 4 Kaiju Otashi by NECA Toys. Now, this thing is great. Uh, this is an unboxing video. The review will be done, uh, I'm not going to say shortly, uh, probably a bit of time before the review because obviously I'm on holiday, really. Or see me there with the shirt. Hello. Uh, now you probably wondered the price tag. I did not pay 104 Canadian dollars for this. I actually made a deal with the guy and said, "Yeah, I only have 65 dollars," and he said that'll be fine. So he sold it to me for that. But that was the original price tag. Plus he did say this thing was sat here for a year. Now before we get the unboxing, uh, actually I have partially unboxed this. Like I removed some of the tape at the top. Uh, this is the box. As you can see, a nice picture of Atashi there. The name, the Gypsy, the um, Yegus the marine symbol, whatever it is, includes a baby Otashi figure. We take a look at the top of the box. Uh, as you can see, Pacific Rim with some legal mumbo jumbo. Uh, Kaiju, with the biohazard symbol, that is a cool looking symbol. Um, some caution lettering on the top, big window there. If we turn it around, uh, yeah, as you can see, it's very faded. Um, and that's not, that's because it's been sat in the window for ages. Here's the cool part, as you can see, category four, Otashi, interchangeable tongue, um, well, it's actually removable. Over 30 points of articulation, baby included, and fully articulated tail. Now, this is one of the many, this is one of the versions of Otashi released. They did do another version which had the wings splayed out. This is the land version. Um, now, I'm gonna elevate the camera a bit here because this is gonna get pretty big. Yes, I have a new camera stand. It's literally a tool. But hey, it actually does this, it actually does say on the package you can use it as a camera stand. So that is pretty nifty. Um, so, you know, I'm still using blue tack. Um, and this thing as well, also, by the way, functions a lot. And let me tell you, that is a lot brighter in person. You shine that in your eyes, you're gonna friggin' know about it, believe me. <laughs> Right, let me just line the camera up here. Okay, so I have already partially snipped some tape, and uh, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to do an unbox it on camera. Because I don't think anyone's really unboxed this. Oh, by the way, because this has got PVC in it, we're going to need boiling water. Don't worry, it's a Pyrex jug. They are specially heat-treated glass to withstand boiling water. So, I'm going to actually move uh, over here so that I can unbox it better. Probably see me somewhere around here. Let's see. So um, let me just elevate, sort the camera out a bit. Actually, let me just check that. Sorry. Uh, yeah, that works better. Right. So fold the lid out. Plastic window here has already started to. Jeez. Big friggin' meaty box. Look at that. So here it is, the figure. Um. Now, I have already undone some of the twisty ties before I thought about unboxing. Uh, now, um, all right, come on. Oh, yeah, I know I'm using kiddie scissors. <laughs> okay, uh, right, so snip the tape here. Now, this is not a review, so I won't be going over every little detail. You'll have to wait for the review and technically on my holiday. I don't think this is going to get many views, but hey, I might, do, might say that Jinx, my anti Jinx, that, and it turns out I do get loads of views. I hope so. I work hard on my videos, man, and I know a lot, a lot of people watching. It's a bit depressing, really. It's also very discouraging to independent content creators like me. Ugh, Jesus, tape. Yes, I just had a bit of a whinge because I whine a lot. Uh, my lifestyle is very hectic and stressful. That's why I've not been doing videos lately, honestly, because I've just been lacking the motivation because I've been so down and just miserable lately. <sighs> but, um, oh, Jesus, this is packaged. I must say, uh, getting back on top of it with this figure, it is packaged exceptionally well. Uh, one of the things I love about NECA figures is they are packaged. I mean, most of them are packaged really well. So, um, this is great, really. Oh, I probably should be a bit careful here because that's my fingers, right? Uh, basically, I do some stupid things with tools, like not being mega safe. Okay, I do want to keep this box in fairly good nick. Um, so now we have to... It's a bit windy out here. Hold on, the other box is just... Shit. Phone fell over. Right, uh... I'm going to miss a bit of blue tack here. Oh, sorry about this. 
It's very windy and the box has just gone all the way over there. I mean, but first of all, just look at that, man. Literally, this is trees everywhere. This is Canada and I must say, it's worth it here. I, I love this place, I really do. Um, I do really like this place. It is a nice, nice little town, I gotta say. Let me just grab the box, here we go. Um, just gonna put that on the back, well, actually I can't. Put it on the foot of my uh, chair. Oh, that's not really worked out quite how I planned it. Uh, right, well, I'll, in that case, I'll use my foot and pop it in. Now, what we have to do is flip this out and then pull out the rest of the figure. Come on, you git. Okay, that's got some significant weight to it. Uh, <laughs> okay, that feels like I just picked up a flaming brick. Now, this is this is the part that we're going to need to heat up. As you can see, that is a ball socket. I'm not having the best of luck with the box today. So the rest of the joint seems to move. That's going to need to heat it up in order to play, in order to be administered onto this barbell double ball peg right here, which is so friggin' stiff so far. So for the now, look at Otashi in all her glory. Here is the tongue, and this is true quality because most figures wouldn't have them wrapped in bags like this, but Necker really take the extra cake. Shows that they really do. Sorry, there's some dogs here where I'm staying. Yes, Charlie, shush. Um, can't seem to get this open. All right, we've got scissors here. Let me just kind of adjust the camera slightly. I don't know how this is going to turn out, so hopefully this footage is usable. Um, and what's cool is this is actually... Oh, shot the plastic. Flipping brilliant. I think, is this a bendy wire? No, I don't think so. Oh well. Uh, right, so we are going to have to undo these. Oh, you know what, I don't even know. Sorry, this is, I'm gonna have to do this. You might not see this, I don't know, because, oh, geez almighty. Come on, come on. There we go. There's the arm freed up. Okay, I'm a bit concerned about the wind. It's really, I mean, oh crap, oh. Right, hold on. Let me just blue tack that down. Oh, that's not even that's not flaming sticking. Sorry guys, uh, this might not turn out so well. Right, there we go, that's the other arm free. Or should I say foot front leg. Jeez, this thing is absolutely freaking massive. And it's got cuts in its chest. Wow, that's uh I didn't notice that before. Uh Hold on, I'm just trying to... There we go. Now we do have the little baby right on there. I like the way that's packaged. Come on, you. There we go, right, there we go. Oh, oh, no, there's one. Oh, there's always one more twisty tight. Oh, I'll tell you what, this is... Okay, so this is a very, very large figure. Now, if I try putting that on, that ain't going to want to clip on. No, it ain't. So now what we have to do, uh, before, actually, you know what, we'll get the baby out of the way. Um, don't want to damage this, so I'm actually going to do these by hand, because this is a very tiny little figure. Uh, obviously Pacific Rim is 7 inch, but it's not in scale with other 7 inch figures, except for the Jaegers, and it is absolutely flaming freezing out here. I'm freezing my, my, my ass off here. Right, pop that. Uh, oh shoot, that's wobbling again. And this thing has some points of articulation, which is kind of cool. It has three swivels. Uh, so there's a little baby. Uh, stands like that. So this thing is very tiny. So pop that there. Now we come to the boiling water part. This is the part that's the most fun. I hope this is hot enough. Uh, so I have to dip this in here now. Uh, wait for a few minutes because I've got to wait for it to get malleable and soft. <sighs> oh, jeez, it is freezing out here. Absolutely freezing. Let's see, what have we got here? We've got a very nice figure overall. With double barbells everywhere. And the, yeah, even the jaws, even the little jaws are on barbells. I'll show you how that works off in a minute because there's a lot of barbells in this figure. It's quite surprising actually. Cause and this is my first Kaiju, so I've got high expectations, but I've seen a lot of reviews for this thing. 
Neil said it was really damn good, so I'm pretty, pretty stoked about having it. Um, just got to kind of, hmm, the feet aren't exactly wanting to move. They are a bit, well, yeah, the feet are a bit stiff. There we go, that one's moving. So I know I'm doing this off camera, but you can kind of see my wariness, right? That should be enough. Nope, that's not enough yet. That's gonna have to stay in there for a bit longer. Uh, I must say, the detail on this thing is rather, rather nice. Um, wow, that bod, that is it. Ah, this is something I was scared about. It's not broken, don't worry, it's just the ball joints. Because uh, there's a ball joint right here in the mid torso, you can probably see how that rotates. That's really tight. Uh, <laughs> <coughs> So I'm just going to go over a bug in a moment. I'll just show you a bit of the detail. Um, you can sort of see it's got some slashes here, probably from Gypsy Danger and whatnot. Um, we are going to show this all off in the review. I'm probably going to review it inside in a minute. Uh, once I've done this unboxing. But I'm actually going to shift my position now. Oh, wow. You got, wow. You're just looking at a boiling water tube. Uh, so here it is. This is it. I will admit, this is a rather impressive figure. Uh, first thing that stood out about me is the weight. Um, obviously, because it's solid PVC, and PVC is usually quite light. Uh, but this thing, like even the baby, for instance, no, I can't see that. Oh well. I mean, even this little thing, hold on, is really well done. I must say, NECA, you've won me over with this one. Oh. I'm freezing my back off here, and I mean my back is actually really cold because that's the most sensitive part of my body heat-wise. Right, now this, I'm going to do this off camera. Basically, it's simple method of this connects to that. Oh, that went on really easy. Obviously, because I've heated up. And now we have the... Right, that foot may need to go in, so I'm actually going to pop the tail off again and soak her, because it's a her, soak her feet in it. She's having a foot bath. But that doesn't look very squidgy, but believe me, it went on nice and easy. That's what she said. <laughs> Sorry. Um, oh, yeah, right, okay. Uh, the tail has got some... Wow, that is... Okay, I'm impressed. That tail is uh, geared. Uh, I'll discuss it more in its review, but if I just show you we're here, we've got some gears in there. So, kind of imagine that that is technically a bit of engineering a bit of technical engineering and an action figure i must say i'm impressed now that the feet are soaked as you can see the pvc has made these claws rather bendy i'm going to articulate that foot right that's popped off i just need to move that ball peg a ball peg does not want to move so i'm going to leave it to soak in there i may not have to mess with it but basically her foot is now detached uh, sometimes when you buy figures like this, it's just a good job I saw that plastic stress in a bit. You've got to do a bit of maintenance with them. <sighs> it's not ideal. She's going to be limping now, but no. I'm going to I'm going to pop the tail back on before that cools. So that's so we're going to have its heat in it. It's a very simple. Shit! I think that's where it's start to cool. Oh, you bugger! No, it's not broken. Don't worry. Um. Ah, you shit! Ah, it's fucking prickly. Like, look at all this, man. It's like a bloody centipede. No one needs it the first time. There we go. And I must say, that's quite a poseable tail. It's got a lot of range to it. Right. Oh, I shouldn't have dipped my hands in that, but it's pretty warm. It's not, like, boiling. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's moving nicely now. Pop that on. Come on, you shit. Sorry, I shouldn't swear. Jeez almighty, this is embarrassing. There we go. There we go, that's good. There we go, all good. Uh, ironically, it belongs in water, so... um, going to put that down there. Here is Otashi herself. And I must say, for my first kaiju figure, I am highly impressed with the quality on this thing. This thing has got a lot of. This thing's getting a lot of praise from me. 
Um, let's test out that jaw. Oh, my apologies. It is an interchangeable jaw. But that ain't going to come out easy. Hmm. Okay, right. Uh... Ah. Yeah, that ain't coming out easy. I'm gonna have to use these to wrench it out. That's never good. Uh, shit, right, I'm probably gonna bugger it, aren't I? Uh, no, what? You know, no, no, no. I've got the boiling water. Right. Oh, I fucked my tooth up a bit. <sighs> I'll explain. Right. When you want to get information from a kaiju, what do you do? You dunk it. Okay, that didn't quite work. Dunk the feckin' head in. Oh, shit. Oh, this is more of a maintenance video than it is a friggin' unboxing. The problem with NECA figures and PVC. It has to be heated up. You know what, I'm gonna use this. Bring this on here and use that as a bouncer. Shit, you know. Uh, <laughs> this is awkward. Oh, shizer, what oh, bloody hell, oh, oh, uh, no you don't, you're not escaping, the clutch is that easy. I can't wait to go back inside, it is fucking cold out here, excuse my language. <coughs> right, that should now be enough boiling water, or hot water, to work the joints. Yeah. That works nicely, that works nicely. Let's get these out of the way. Right, you know what? Uh, I'll save that for the review. So we have been unboxing the Otashi figure today. Um, and this is a rather nice figure, if not a bit stiff. So I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the review. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna go film the review now. See you then.